I wanted to go ahead and do a segment that I'm sure you're really going to enjoy. Top five Christmas movies. Oh, my favorite. It's right up there with top five books. All right. So do you want to go first? You want to give your top five? Yeah. Okay. So are we going straight, straight through the list? Yeah, or? straight through. Okay. And so, I'll, I'll, I might jump in and give some commentary on some of them. I have to pull up my, my list here. Okay. So my my top five, A Christmas Carol, but the 1938 version. Oh, so you're going way back. Yeah, it's truly great. Reginald, Re- Reginald Reynolds or something like that. He plays Scrooge. In. It's wonderful. Hmm. Truly great. My favorite. Okay. And then It's a Wonderful Life. That's number four? Uh, that's number two. I went the wrong way. Oh, yeah. You went the wrong way. No, you spoiled it now. Uh, that's all right. Just go down the list the way you were going. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So, so it's a wonder- I wrote it wrong on my phone. That's why. Oh, yeah. It'll get you. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. That's mm. my next one. And then... Uh, a Year Without Santa Claus, that old claymation, you know, you, has the Miser Brothers. I actually really hate that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just hate Christmas, so. That's true. Yeah. So, I, you know, I don't really. It's just compared to the average person, Laura thinks that everyone hates Christmas because she likes Christmas so much that it appears as though everyone else is a Scrooge compared to her. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, where's the lights on your hat? Come on. Exactly. It's like, this this isn't Christmassy enough for her. No, I guess. it's not. Where's all the Christmas? <laughs> but my next one is The Santa Claus. It's Tim Allen. I actually Maybe. really do like that one. That was cute. I love Tim Allen. I had a better appreciation for that watching it this year as a divorce attorney. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> I didn't even think about that angle. Yeah. It's a whole new level now. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I can see why that would warrant a custody change. But in Alabama, <laughs> it would be, it's just, I, I think about that stuff. You may be the only person I've ever met that's watching a Christmas movie and you're like doing legal analysis <laughs> for this. You know, I do that on uh, Miracle. And, uh, was it Miracle on 24th Street? 34th. 34th. Yeah, I don't like that movie. But I do. I do legal analysis. It, that. It's okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I don't really... I don't know. It's just it. it I, I don't think it aged very well, and no. I'm a lot older than it, so it cert it like it never really did anything for me. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. Yeah. And then of course my well, I don't know. I guess the number five could really cause my number one because I do love it a lot. But a Hallmark anything Hallmark Christmas anything they're all the same, and I love them all. I was about to say you would never be able to tell which one you're watching. You know? just, um, Hallmark is like if the empire from star Wars made movies, like it would all be the same. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. One of the, it's, it's kind of like movie communism. Yeah, but I love it. It's the (laughs) kind of communism that I will eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, you know, I know that a lot of people, especially Christians really like them because they're wholesome and you don't have to worry, but they're not really my cup of tea, but you know, I, I get that. And I was kind of expecting that. And they're wonderfully sappy. Like I like a good sappy movie. See, I don't. I <laughs> can't stand you're a it. Man. Yes, I can't help it. It's yes. like ingrained in me. See, they should let me do at least one Hallmark movie. I don't think so. It would be really different than the other ones. The elves would be blowing up. <laughs> there would and there would be elves, but they would be like Tolkien elves. <laughs> <laughs> Get Liv Tyler in there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know she's really awful, right? <laughs> I love Liv Tyler as Arwen. Oh, gosh. <laughs> anyway. All right. So that's your top five. You're re- you ready for mine? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do it in correct order. I'm kind of surprised that you have any. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't know why Laura assumes that I hate Christmas. I never have understood that. All I know is that I had to beg Jay to get the Christmas music going. That's because I have a rule about not playing Christmas music before December. That is just awful. You screwed. December is when Christmas like celebration can start. That's uh. yeah. Anyway, Laura's you know weird Christmas fetish aside. Um, number <laughs> five, <laughs> number five, Elf. Yeah, that's great. I like that movie. Yeah, Elf is really good. That's hilarious. It's like the only Will Ferrell movie I actually like. <laughs> yeah, because he's terrible. In it. He's he's really good in awful. the Office. Well, I'll say this: I like Will Ferrell's Saturday Night Live stuff. Yeah. Like him as Alex Trebek in the <laughs> <laughs> fancy meeting you here, Trebek. <laughs> would like to ask all of our, uh, what is it? I would las- like to ask all of our contestants to refrain from using ethnic slurs. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I-, I love him in his Saturday Night Live stuff, but he's just, I, I don't like any of his 
actual movies with the exception of Elf. I love Elf. That was a good one. Yeah, uh, number four, and we are going claymation for this one. Oh, good. Yeah. The, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer claymation. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, that was a better, fuller explanation of the Rudolph story. It was, and I. it's kind of the standard bear. I mean, you think about it every year. Every single year, they come out with new Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer merchandise. That movie's 50 years old, I mean, they're fantastic. and it's still making money off the merch. You know, it speaks to all of us, because in a way, don't we all have red noses? Well, I do, but that's just because of rosacea. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't know that I'm a great comparison. This is not a good way to do this. <laughs> right. Uh, number three, A Christmas Carol. Awesome. The 1984 version. Really? George C. Scott. It's a good one. I th- I think it's the best, personally. Mm-hmm. That's just me. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody has their own favorite version. I-, I have to say, though, even though that's my favorite version, I do really like The Muppet Christmas Carol. Okay, because <laughs> that one, I mean, that's a close second for me. I yeah. love the Muppet version. The Muppet version is actually pretty good. Like, it's it's less complicated. A lot of stuff gets left out because they throw in so much humor, and that's fine. But Charles Dickens, I, I think the best version of his story is the 1984 George C. Scott version. Hmm. Uh, it's just it's just a great rendition. The acting is great. Uh, the cinematography is actually really good, which you wouldn't expect from a movie from the 80s, but it is. That's got to be better than the one from the 30s. Which actually, well, yeah. that, was, that was pretty good. I mean, they did a good job for the 30s. It, it, I was about to say, it's not really their fault. They didn't have a lot to work with. Yeah, that's true. Uh, number two, and this is going to be one that surprises a lot of people, but I don't care. It's still my second favorite. It's Christmas time again, Charlie Brown. Not oh, the original. Really? Not the original? Not the original. I like the sequel. You know, when you started that sentence, I thought you were going to go with Die Hard. No, here's the thing. I I thought about putting Die Hard on there. It's like, uh-huh. Die Hard's not really a Christmas movie, because I thought about Home Alone as well. I think the Council of Nicaea said that it was a Christmas movie. I think I read that on the Babylon Bee. <sighs> It wouldn't surprise me if Babylon B put that up there. They did, actually. <laughs> did they really? You're, yeah. you're not just making stuff up? I'm not. That's a Babylon B story. The yeah, Council of Nicaea it. voted that. As I a... believe it. I would totally I would totally see them doing that. All right. But but the thing that I like about It's Christmas Time Again, Charlie Brown, like uh, the first one is great, but it's a little clunky. The humor's not quite as spot on. It's Christmas Time Again just nails it. It's got some of the most <laughs> quotable lines of any Christmas movie. And it's a real tragedy that more people don't know it because it's so funny. I have to admit that I've never heard of it. We'll have to watch it sometime. It's only 30 minutes long, and I've got it on Blu-ray. I'm down. Um, but yeah, it's uh, one of the best scenes in the entire thing. Is uh, It's when uh, um, Sally is trying to get ready for this play that she's going to be, and she's an angel. But she only has one line in the whole Christmas play. So she's supposed to come out and say, Hark! And so like for a week beforehand, you see her roaming around the house yelling, Hark! <laughs> and then she finally gets on stage. It's the big moment. She walks out and she goes, hockey stick. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's back. And she's like, how did I mess? I only had one line. Luke hates me. The apostles hate me. <laughs> like, it's just a great scene. One of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. That's good. One. And uh, number one, the Grinch that stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey version. That is so creepy to me. I, I, I don't <laughs> think I've ever liked a Jim Carrey movie. He's just weird. I do and like I'm all about weird. I like several Jim Carrey movies. I don't think that all of his stuff is brilliant. Um, yes, man's really good. Ace Venture is pretty funny. Okay, that I think I like that yeah. more than I like the Grinch movie though. But I love see to me the Grinch movie is the best thing he ever did. I love the Grinch movie. <laughs> just, <laughs> I quote so that weird. thing especially like me and my sister. We quote that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, move it. <laughs> <laughs> or when I like freak out at something like whew. Almost lost my cool back there. <laughs> you know. I will say it's like probably the most realistic one for adults. Probably. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. I relate to the Grinch in a lot of ways. I can see that. <laughs> I can re- And sometimes I do too. Like, you know, when he's like trying on outfits, he's like, I have nothing to wear. I'm like, that's me every day. See, I don't relate to that as much as just him not liking people and wanting to live alone. <laughs> Honestly, I think the older I get, the more I understand his desire to not to live alone with his dog. Like, yeah. I get that. To me, the worst part of the movie is when he wusses out and brings all the presents back. <laughs> I mean, stand your ground, man. Like, you right. can make a stand. That's all I'm saying. Like, stand. have some conviction, brother. Yeah. Anyway. Look at those tiny children. All right. Well, I think that that's all that we've got. Is our phone ringing? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Huh. That's I'll weird. To, that, yeah, I'll have to answer that. Who, who could be on the phone? No idea. 
Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh my goodness, I love this guy. <laughs> governor, are you there? Ja, Caleb, it's me, the governor. How did you even get this number? I got it from Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris has my number? No, he just tells the phone who he wants to talk to, and the phone gives him the number. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that makes sense. So, Governor, why are you calling? Chuck and I were watching your show, and I noticed you and Laura's list both didn't have my all-time holiday smash classic, Jingle All The Way. Look, Governor, I like the movie, but I don't know that it's top five material. You're not top five material. All right. It's the best holiday movie ever made. Now available on Amazon Prime and Blu-ray. <laughs> Mr. Schwarzenegger, that movie is over 20 years old. You are over 20 years old. Yeah? Well, you got me there. Yeah, I won that one. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, you did. Why would you pick those wussy movies over mine? <laughs> well... <laughs> Come on, I mean, Governor, Jingle All the Way is a fun movie, but A Christmas Carol? I mean, that's a beloved classic. No, this movie is stupid. Wait, it's stupid? Ja, the Scrooge, he goes to the Christmas past and the Christmas future without killing a single killer robot. It makes no sense. What's the point? <laughs> what? What, if, what about the Peanuts Christmas movie? You like that one, right? This Charlie Brown is a pansy. He can't make a manly movie. He can't even kick a flossin' bluesin. Wait, <laughs> flossin' bluesin'? What's a flossin' bluesin'? That's German for football. Oh, okay. Now it now it makes sense. Got you. So, uh, can I ask you some political questions since you're already on the line? Ja, I will answer these questions better than Sinbad ever could. <laughs> All right. So, first question. The House has actually impeached President Trump earlier today. What's your take on that? Look, Caleb, we cannot let a great leader like President Trump jingle only half the way. We have to let him jingle all the way. Well, I guess that's one way to put it. Cha, ja, if you could be impeached for hilarity and heartwarmingness, jingle all the way would be impeached unanimously by Congress and everyone else. Well, I, I don't know that you can... Caleb, it would be so easy to impeach it. Even Adam Schiff couldn't screw it up. <laughs> All right, I'd like to ask you some culture war questions now. Good, because I will win the culture wars with my army of cyborgs from the future. Cyborgs from the future? Yes, that will be how we defeat the social justice warrior army. So you'll be fighting the social justice warriors with cyborgs? Yes, and when they emerge from their parents' basements with their neck beards and their vagina hats, <laughs> my cyborg army will blast them away by exploiting their one weakness. Their one weakness? What's their one weakness? Job applications. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. I wanted to ask you about your take on the trans movement. I'm for the trans people. You, really? You're for the trans people? Ja, if the people start transforming into robots now, we can stop the future robots from coming back and destroying us. Uh, that's not actually what I meant. I, I meant people transitioning from men to women and from women to men. Oh, Caleb, I am for that too. Really? But I didn't expect that. You're such a macho man. I thought you would be against it. No, Caleb, that is why I'm for it. Maybe then the Democrats will transition from useless girly men into real men and both are Republican. <laughs> Flawless logic, sir. Thank you. <laughs> so, you're a more moderate Republican. What would you say is your political philosophy, if you could sum that up for us? My philosophy is very simple. If you give a man a jingle, he'll jingle for a day. But if you teach that man to jingle, he'll jingle all the way. All right. Thank you, former governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right, governor. We'll talk to you later. All right. Uh, thanks, Governor Schwarzenegger. Always a pleasure to have you on the show, even if it's not planned and you're uninvited. But all right, Laura. Um, I hate that he didn't like my movie picks. It's not cool. You know, he didn't like mine either. I think he's biased. You know, you really should like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. Oh, what's that? You want to know what's on the channel before you subscribe to it? Oh, no, no, no. It's like Obamacare. So you got to subscribe to find out what's on it.